Good morning, everyone, or good evening, depending on what part of the world you're in. It's Wednesday, and happy St. Patrick's Day if you celebrate it, and if you don't, happy Wednesday. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. If you're watching this on my Facebook channel, please like my page. If you're watching it on YouTube, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Let's see what the cards have in store for us today. Okay, so today, starting off, we have the Lovers, which is one of the major arcana. It's Gemini. And the Lovers is an interesting card because it talks about the way the mind works and the way that we put our thoughts and our emotions and our desires into manifestation uh, by focusing on the subconscious mind and putting the proper information in. Um, little lesson on this card here, with the major arcana especially, um, when you see a male figure, it's talking about the conscious mind. And when you see a female t figure, it's talking about the subconscious mind. Hence, the magician is the conscious mind, and it directs the will. The high priestess is the subconscious mind that records everything down and acts in a more passive state. In this case, you see there's a man and a woman at the bottom. And the man is looking at the woman, and the woman is looking up at the angel. So what this is representing is the proper function of the mind and how it's supposed to work to manifest things and to receive um, higher intelligence and higher knowledge from the spiritual sources. The conscious mind, which is the, the man in the picture, is looking at the woman. So it's focused on what is being put in, making sure that the proper things are being put into the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is looking at the angel and it's showing that the subconscious mind has been trained to focus its awareness and its attention and its function on that higher source so that it's passing on the correct information to that higher source and thereby the it can flow the opposite way as well but it's focused its awareness on that higher source rather than on the lower desires like the snake and the apples and the things like that, the tree behind it. So the lovers is talking all about being in control of our mind and putting in the correct information. And we have to do that every day because that's how we manifest things and we're doing it all the time every day with every thought that we have we're bringing that into our reality. We're putting that into our reality for ourselves. Um, so the next card is the Eight of Swords, which is shortened force. And you can see that in this card, the person is restricted. It, the, the swords represent the thoughts. So our thoughts are restricting what it is that we're doing. So we have to overcome that restriction. We have to take control of our thoughts and organize them and function them and use them in such a way that what we're putting into ourselves, into our subconscious mind, is giving us the correct responses and the correct results that we want to have by focusing on positive things and the things that we desire and the things that really in harmony with our true spiritual nature. So this requires a lot of looking in and 
looking within and finding our own true goals and spiritual nature. Well, as we do that, and as we move past this short-sightedness and these inappropriate thoughts that we're putting into our subconscious mind, we'll see the Queen of Pentacles come into place. And the Queen of Pentacles is all about bringing into ourselves the energy of manifestation in the proper way. So the Queen represents that this manifestation has been thought out and planned and it's not just haphazardly done. It's um, not rushed into it. It's a lot of planning. Now at this stage it hasn't been put into action yet. So this is more of the planning stage where we're planning and putting into uh, planning the thoughts that are putting into us. But this queen also shows that it's because the physical world has to do with fertility and managing things and actually producing things into physical effect. It's potent and it's ready for that to manifest. So by moving past the wrong thoughts that held us bondage and managing our mind correctly we're able to get to the point where we can manifest our reality and we've manifested the correct thing and we put the correct thoughts and procedures into place so that what we want and what we truly desire and what we truly need comes into effect for us and this process like I said your mind knows how to do this it does it every day it doesn't need any special training as far as the process of how to do it. What it needs is the proper data to be put into it. Um, back when I was in junior high and we were working with computers, uh, we had a saying, garbage in, garbage out. If you put the wrong thoughts in, you're going to get the wrong results. The computer itself works perfectly with the information that's put into it. The mind is the same. So, look at what you're putting into your mind. Don't be held hostage by it. Okay? Uh, don't be held hostage by negative habits and putting things in that don't serve you. But, really, think about what it is that you want. Plan what you want. Get it straight in your mind. Have those images and those desires of what you want correct and refined and internalized within you so that when they are put into the subconscious mind they manifest and don't put things in that aren't appropriate to your goals so I know that was a long rant to go on today but that's what the cards are telling me and it I think it's very important that we look at that every day and think about what we're putting into ourselves what we're putting into our mind and what that's going to produce for ourselves so i hope you like the video if you like my content please like my facebook page and like and subscribe to my youtube channel um, i also have a blog you can follow it the links to all my information are is in the about tab on my facebook page and below this video description on on YouTube. I, my readings start at $5. If you would like to schedule a reading with me, you can contact me through Facebook, through YouTube, or through my email at lodgemagician at gmail.com. Thank you and have a wonderful day.